The Shiny Six Challenge. I'm going to hunt a team of six Shinies for every type in the game. As long as that Pokemon has the type, they're fair game. That's a total of 108 Shinies. We'll be doing a video per type, so stay tuned for the rest of the series. In the first installment of this series, we are going to begin with water type Pokemon. Admittedly, this has been my favorite type since I started playing Pokemon, so it felt only right to start with this type. I decided on six water Pokemon that I was going to go after, and those Pokemon are Dundozo, Gyarados, Wugtrio, Vinzinian, Slowbro, and Vaporeon. Leave a comment on which of these was your favorite shiny, and hey, while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe and drop a like. It really helps the channel grow. Okay, now on to the shinies. This whole thing started with Dundozo. My friends and I were getting ready to do the Greninja raids, and I found this outbreak and decided to hunt it a bit before we started. After we failed our first attempt at completing the raid, we were discussing strategy for our next go at it. What levels the Toxic Croak? That might be a good one. Brian, did you save before? Like, after, did you save after you used all of the candies and such? Oh, <gasps> Shiny Dundozo! Shiny Dundozo! <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Shiny Dundozo! Dude, I'm rocking Dundozo for the raid. Uh, yeah, it comes back in a week. No, this is the f this is the first. Yeah. Got it. Regular Dondozo. Shiny Dondozo. Look at this. Look at I caught it. Look at this big idiot. I love it. It's gold and white. Oh, I'm so happy. I think this was my first shiny I've ever gotten on Discord with friends, and the best part about it was is I wasn't even focused on hunting, I was focused on the raid. After getting Dundozo, I knew that I wanted to do a video centered around water Pokemon, but I had no real direction for it yet. As I was sitting down to figure out what I wanted to do, I took a look at my map and I found a Gyarados outbreak. As I hunted this, I came up with the idea for this series to hunt 6 Pokemon per type, and Gyarados just fits the water team so well. It is an iconic shiny. Shiny Gyarados! Shiny Gyarados! Let's go! Yes! We got it! Shiny Gyarados! Yes! The red man! Yes! The Lake of Rage! Let's go. I'm debating... Nah, I'm just gonna hit with a quick ball. <laughs> oh my god. Yes! I'm so happy I got that. That was not even that long. It was such a quick hunt. Ooh. Oh my god, there's so many on me. Okay, we'll switch them out. Regular Gyarados. It's coming. Shiny Gyarados. There it is. Feeling motivated after getting Gyarados, I made my next target with Trio. I went with the sandwich method for this one, just to switch things up, but as I'm looking back on it, I like hunting outbreaks better. The spawns are just more reliable. Wugtrio is sort of like Toad Scroll in the sense that it's cool to see variations of older Pokemon other than the region variants that we've seen in the past, but something about this just makes me feel a little bit uneasy. I'm all for more of these types of Pokemon in the future, just please make them a little less unsettling. Luckily for me, it wouldn't take a long time to see Wugtrio shine. Shiny Wog Trio! Oh my god! That was so fast! I just got I just got the shiny Gyarados! Yes! Let's go! Shiny Wog Trio! Now okay, now here's the thing. I legitimately don't know how to get this Pokemon. Yeah! Got it! Yes! <laughs> Okay, nice. Hit it with a quick ball. 
There it is. The blue on this thing is just mwah, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, I got juked. Regular Wug Trio. Shiny Wug Trio. I mean, the shiny is the shiny's great. The Pokemon though makes me feel a little weird, but hey, I'm happy to get it. Let's go, shiny Wug Trio. Up next on my list was Finizen. This is a must when it comes to water Pokemon for this generation, if you ask me. Its evolution is unique and its shiny colors work really well. The issue is, is that the shiny in the water makes it hard to tell if it's actually shiny or not, especially with the shadows, depending on what time of day it is. <gasps> is that a shiny Finizen? That is shiny Finizen. Wait, or is that just the shadow? That's just the shadow. Oh, I got baited so hard. What? <laughs> I thought that was it. I found an outbreak and realized that Finizen likes to swim out to sea for some reason. Okay, so I just found, I think, the easiest strategy for hunting uh, for hunting Finizen in this, in this spot that I'm at. I can sit at this little cove and they, for some reason, they want to swim out to sea. So they just watching them spawn here. Um, I just hope that the, the shiny, ugh, wow. I just hope that the shiny spawns close enough where I can jump back and get it. So like if one of these spawns, let's watch, let's see, like that one, okay. Yeah, I can get it, that should be fine. The shadows are still a little weird, but I, I this is so AFK able. This is cool. So these two hanging out near me, get, get lost. Shoot, shoot. By tucking myself in this little corner, I had an auto spawn of Finizen. They'd swim out to sea, despawn, and spawn back in again, making this a super easy hunt, which I love. I don't know why, but I really enjoy trying to find these easy methods of hunting. I occasionally needed to swim out to reset the ones near me, but overall, low effort hunt, and I knew it would be a matter of time before I saw it shine. Oh, that's it! Shiny Finizen! Yes! There it is. That That is it. That's it. Yes. Oh my god. I was so worried I was going to miss it, but you know, it's so much easier to see it from the front than it is from behind when it's swimming away from you. I don't know how to explain it, but that that is it. Shiny fin is it. Let's go. Yes. We're going to try, we're going to go with a dive ball. I think it just makes sense. I'm a quick ball guy, don't get me wrong. But, pff, crit, let's go. Shiny Finn is in. Okay, let's check him out. Regular Finn is in? Shiny Finn is in. Oh, it's marked. The Dawn Mark, early riser. Dope. Nice, I, that's awesome. Slowbro was my next target, and this one I was on the fence if I wanted or not. I was between Slowbro and Choodle, but I went with Slowbro for its popularity in raids so far. He's been the go-to Pokemon for the last two seven-star raids, so I thought, why not, let's pick up a shiny one so we can look stylish in the raid. The shiny's great too. The purple and gold mesh really well together, and considering how bad of a shiny Slowpoke is, I'd say that this is an upgrade. I had to hunt this thing at Castle Royal Lake, and if you've been on the lake, you know that you get about five frames per second on it, but despite the lag, I knew that it wouldn't be long until I found the shiny. Oh, <gasps> shiny slow, bro. Dude, that was so fast. Yes, shiny slow, bro. I noticed that so quick, so quick. Let's go. Look at him. He's got no idea what's going on. Look at this guy. Um, we're gonna try die ball. I'm I'm a quick ball guy, but we're going die ball. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> oh, got the crit. Let's go. There we go. And I have the I have like 14 FPS on this lake. It's ridiculous. But let's uh, check him out. Normal slow bro. Shiny slow bro. Oh, look at that. The slow poke has the worst shiny. 
possibly the worst shiny in the game, and then Slow Rose is so much cooler. It's such a weird comparison. But the purple, the the golden shell, ah, excellent, excellent shiny. I love it. Last but certainly not least was Vaporeon. This evolution looks so good in this game. The way that it swims and how it runs from you when you get close, they really captured the character of this Pokemon and put it in this generation perfectly. Where the outbreak was had this big rock, and I realized pretty early on that Pokemon were spawning inside of the rock. I thought this was hilarious. I was really hoping that I'd find a shiny in the rock. I would check every so often to see if I can get a shiny inside the rock by throwing a ball to start the encounter, and just hoping that my Pokemon glitched into the wall. I found my little route, and even had this little camera glitch where I climbed up the waterfall. Which was actually kind of cool, because I could see all the Vaporeon spawning in. This area had its issues to say the least, and this hunt did take a lot longer than the rest. But despite the issues that this lake had, it wouldn't stop me from finding a shiny. Oh! Oh! There it is! Shiny Vaporeon! Yes! That took a while. <laughs> I know I say a lot of times that that was really quick, uh, uh, this one took a while. But here it is, shiny Vaporeon, a little mermaid boy, look at him. Ah, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try a heal ball, so I'm very uncharacteristic, I may not throw a quick ball, but I'm gonna try a heal ball. Let's go, let's go, got it, okay, let's check him out. Regular Vaporeon, shiny Vaporeon. I love the way, I love the way that they swim. The little legs moving, ah, oh, so cute. There it is. First shiny evolution of the bunch. Very happy, very happy. Well, there you have it. This is my shiny water team. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as I mentioned, this will become a little series. So leave a comment on which type I should do next, and let me know which of these Pokemon is your favorite shiny. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.